Android owes its popularity by and far to its extensive app ecosystem. App development for Android is really as simple as it gets. It's just like making websites with XML and Kotlin, which is also the reason why it's so popular. The barrier for entry is also quite low. All you need is a decent mid-level computer and dedication to learn a programming language and you're pretty much good to go. But before you jump headfirst into making Android applications, there's a very important question you need to ask yourself. Which language will you be coding your apps in? When it comes to Android development, you really have two options, Java or Kotlin. Kotlin is the official language announced by Google for Android development and before Kotlin, Java was the go-to programming language for anyone looking to make Android apps. So which one should you pick? Well, we suggest going for Kotlin as it's the future of Android by and far. If you're really well versed with Java and want to stick to it, you can still code your apps and there are still a lot of libraries that support Java, but this decision is really up to you. Next up, we're going to need an IDE to write our code in. We suggest going for Android Studio because, well, it's the official ID you use to write Android apps. Installation is also very simple. All you need to do is just head over to the Android Studio website, hit the download button, and the installer already comes with all the instructions you need to install it. Lastly, before we get to coding our apps, we need to know what is an app made of. So there are essentially two components to every app, a layout and an activity. The layout is the front end of your app. It's where the user interacts with whatever buttons, photos, text, images, or whatever you've put on it. These layouts are made up of individual views and you can combine these views together and play with them to get whatever you want. You're going to write your layout in XML, which is a markup language very similar to HTML. Next up, we've got activities. So an activity is essentially the code behind your layout. So what happens if the user presses a button or if a gesture is detected or you have to redirect a link or whatever the logic that you want to implement behind your layouts, you're going to do that in your activities. And you're going to write your activities in Kotlin or Java if you prefer so. And from here on, the world is really a canvas. All you need to do now is turn your app idea into reality. If you liked the video, consider subscribing, ring the bell icon and give us a like. If you want to know more about Android or app development in general, check out our website candid.technology and while you're at it, follow us on social media. And we'll see you in the next video.